Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The Minister of the Royal Court, His Highness Sheikh, Khali, Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed condolences to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the family of the late His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Zayed Al Nahyan the personal representative of the UAE president. Their Highnesses also expressed deep condolences to the UAE people and recalled the contributions of the deceased and wished his soul to rest in eternal peace. Their Highnesses were accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Royal Family Council Director General Sheikh Salman bin Khalid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalifa bin Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Executive Director of the Minister's Office for Royal Court Affairs, Mr. Ali Al Hajri. Reinforcing the strong relationship between Bahrain and France and further strengthening parliamentarian cooperation, Member of French Parliament and President of Bahraini French Friendship Group at French National Assembly Beatrice Pyron visits Bahrain every year and meets with Bahraini members of the Parliament. The relations between French Parliament and Bahraini Parliament are excellent and uh, we try to, to meet each other every year. So this year I'm coming and perhaps I hope next, next year they will come in Paris. And we try to have uh, debates and discussion regarding uh, some common points like, for example, the education, which is very important for both of us. We try to strengthen this relation. Uh, for example, we, we discuss regularly uh, and we try to have uh, some common project, perhaps uh, uh, here in Bahrain or perhaps in France also. We try to make some exchange of students between French and, uh, and Bahrain. In Bahrain, the democracy is yeah. quite young uh, because uh, the, the parliament is present since 2002, I think. Uh, it's a young parliament, but they are still improving a lot. And we can see a lot of uh, six women this year in the parliament and it is a good improvement for us and to have also this year the leader speaker which is a woman so we are very proud for Bahrain to see all these improvements. The French economic presence is quite old because we are present since the 70s in Bahrain and there is currently roughly 40 companies present in Bahrain and we have some very huge companies like Buig, Vinci, uh, IDPI, AXA and, and the bank BNP for example who are present in Bahrain and uh, it's uh, a quite huge um, network and we have more than 1,000 persons present for, for these companies in, in Bahrain. His Majesty the King came in Paris uh, last uh, April and it was a very successful meeting and we signed different contracts with different companies and also he met Emmanuel Macron in Elysee 
and it was a very bu busy and successful meeting. The 15th session of the Manama Dialogue Regional Security Summit launches today organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in cooperation with the International Institute for Strategic Studies and will continue until November the 24th. The conference is scheduled to discuss security challenges in the Middle East, particularly in relation to security in general and regional maritime security in particular, as well as coalition relations in the Middle East in light of U.S. policy in addition to the new economic situation in the Middle East and cyber security. The International Institute for Strategic Studies confirmed that the summit will bring together senior ministers and government officials from more than 35 countries. The Manama Dialogue Conference is an important platform for the exchange of views and ideas between senior officials and experts from different countries of the world that lead to the establishment of international peace and security.